I'm no ammo, no ammo. Oh! Smash that like button and you'll aim like that. My inventory, bro. Damn, bro, get dunked on. Get dunked on. <laughs> get fucking aim body, dog. Give me that shield. Excuse me, can you just fry that kid with a pistol? Yeah, it's Get fucking dunked on. Oh yeah, I got aimbot. Oh my god. Where is he? Got him. Got him. What's up, bro? Oh my god, I triple headshot that guy. Dude. Oh, I'm <laughs> 130, oh my god, bro. Dude. You're dead. I'm over here fighting him by myself. No, Brock's got him. GG's only, bro. Why not? Too late now. Nice. What's up, bro? I got aimbot. Yo, what is up, boys and girls? Today, I am bringing you a video unboxing the Shrek Pack FPS Dominator by Collective Minds. So really quickly, for those of you that don't know, I use a controller attachment that goes on the back of my controller like this that uh, gives me access to two paddles like a scuff controller. And because I've joined the Collective Minds affiliate program, they've uh, sent me a free Shrek Pack, I guess as a thank you gift for joining the program. So I decided I might as well use it for an unboxing video so you guys can see what it looks like when you buy one and uh, what you're going to be getting in the mail. So they aren't paying me for this review at all. So I'm going to be totally honest that I very strongly dislike that the words mod pack are what they decided to go with in big blue letters at the top. I honestly believe that Collective Minds, a company that created this, really has a good chance to uh, to take over the market for uh, bringing paddles to controllers and beat out Scuff. Just because Scuff is so expensive compared to this. A scuff can cost you 200 to 250 dollars and this mod pack only costs 40 dollars so this is way more budget friendly accomplishes the exact same thing as a scuff but when they when they focus on the mods like this it just it loses a lot of respect from the community even now that i use it i still feel like people i still feel like i don't get the the same amount of respect they would as if i had been using a scuff just because a lot of people know that these things have mods and that i might still secretly be using them but yeah, like I said though, the mods are completely optional. You can buy them apart from the strike pack if you want them. Uh, I do not, however, condone the use of any mods in multiplayer gaming. I think it's not okay to be doing that. It's unfair advantage, just the same as hacking in Fortnite. But uh, the strike pack itself, I love it so much. It's It really allowed me to take my game to the next level when I first got it. And uh, I couldn't afford a scuff at the time. I saved up for this thing and... Uh, it just really transformed my gameplay when I first started using it. So let's open it up and show you guys what you get when you buy one. So right off the bat, I really love the packaging. It's super clean packaging. It looks super professional. I love this shiny collective mind symbol they have there. On the back, it shows you all the features of how the paddles have. And on the front, again, it shows you the features that you can get. So the type of mods they have for this thing are like rapid fire, drop shot. These things aren't very useful in Fortnite, but they are very overpowered in games like Call of Duty. And uh, they're, they're super dirty in Call of Duty. All right, so when you open it, is what you'll be greedy to. This is the USB cable it comes with. This is not the same cable mine came with when I ordered it like a year ago, I think. So they've clearly upgraded the cable. They put a braided sleeve on it now. And uh, I think it's a 10 foot cable because this always has to be plugged in. It's not wireless. So with this 10 foot cable, you should never really ever have a problem with uh, reaching your PlayStation or your computer, whatever you're using it on. Inside, they've just, they've just got their uh, their support card, uh, which is saying, you know, don't return it to Amazon or wherever you bought it from if you didn't buy it from their website. Instead, you reach out to them for support and they'll help you get it fixed or get you a new one if something's wrong with it. English and Spanish. So here is the mod pass that they sell. Um, it doesn't come with mods out the box, which I think is a good thing because mine did originally when I first bought it, they used to come with mods already installed. You could just activate them straight out the box. But now if you really want mods, you have to pay $15 a year and uh, then you download them on your computer to put them onto the mod pack. I think this is a great thing because this way, you know, you don't have to feel scared about the fact that your strike pack has mods on it. As long as you never actually buy this, you'll be 100% okay using the strike pack. And then here is a little booklet explaining how to use the strike pack and uh, I think it's in English and Spanish. Explaining all the features of it, 
And then finally, this is what the Strike Pack looks like when you get it. Super clean design. I really love it. I, uh... I've always thought it was very professional looking. It never felt cheap at all or it always felt very nice and like an actual real gaming product. So here's my controller that I use, normal DualShock 4 controller. The way it works is the uh, the strike pack goes into the USB thing right there. It just slides right over it like this. And then it just clicks in. And then this little hook over here slides over your controller. You just push it up and you're good to go. So again, it's not wireless though. You have to always be plugged in if you want to use this. Which I guess that's the one advantage that Scuf has over uh, Strike Pack. With the 10 foot cable, you're never actually going to have a problem with it. So I'm just going to use my old cable since it's already hooked up. But their cable is exactly the same connection. It's just stronger braided cable. Mine is just uh, plastic. So it plugs into here like this. Just like that and uh you're good to go so basically the the paddles because these are brand new they've mapped x on the right side and the left one is also x so the way this works is to map them is super simple this button right here you guys can see it clicks in like that and this one clicks in okay so this paddle is already x so i don't need to change it but this paddle i need to change it so that it's my right arrow so what you do is you hold the button and then you hold the arrow at the exact same time. So hold button, hold arrow, you let go at the same time, and now your paddle has been remapped to that button. Same thing with circle, hold this button, hold circle, let go, now your paddle is circle. So you can remap it super quickly on the fly. Like sometimes I'll be playing Call of Duty and I need to remap it just instantly, you just instantly remap it and you're done. And then I go back to Fortnite, remap it and you're done just that easily because on call of duty my paddle is a uh, circle but in fortnite my paddle is right arrow that's basically a quick unboxing of the strike pack so for those of you that don't know why the strike pack gives you an advantage in fortnite it's not just in fortnite it's in any shooting game at all any actually any video game honestly the reason is that normally you have to press x to jump right because you use this thumb to aim when you're aiming at somebody you need to take your thumb off to press x so that means in that time that you're jumping, you can't be moving your stick. And it might not seem like it, but it actually has a big impact on your accuracy. Because you have paddles now, when you jump, you no longer need to remove your thumb off the stick. And that lets you be a lot more accurate because you get that extra second of time to keep your character aiming. So this is how my movement looks with the paddle. And this is how my movement looks without the paddle. You see how, how much more choppy it is because I need to take my thumb off the stick? So that is why traditionally players with no paddles have to play claw like this to be able to do the exact same thing. I personally don't like claw. It's very uncomfortable for me. I've never been able to get the hang of it. But uh, these paddles, super comfortable for me. I love them. If you do get them for PC though, you do need to uh, look up on YouTube a tutorial on how to install them. You need to install a, the drivers for them. However, if you get them for console, they work right out the box for PlayStation 4. And then if you get them for Xbox, it's a completely different paddle set for Xbox. So make sure you don't buy the PlayStation 4 one for your Xbox controller. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, one more time, I'm just going to mention, I do not condone the use of any mods. Uh, I really dislike the reputation Strike Pack has in the gaming community. Basically, if you use a Strike Pack, you know, a lot of people are going to think you're cheating. I, I really dislike the reputation that it has for that. I do like that it has this tournament mode, this white light right here. So yeah, when the light is white, that means tournament mode, that means there's no mods active. Uh, that's how it should come out of the box, I think. When it's blue, that means that you can turn the mods on. So as long as you're in this mode right here, you hold both the buttons, let go of the left one, push it again to get to white mode. As long as you're in white light right here, you're good. You got no mods enabled, nobody can tell you anything. All right, so finally, just want to say thank you to uh, Collective Minds for sending me this strike pack. If you guys want to buy one, my affiliate links are down in the description below. Every time you buy one with my link, I get a commission percentage off of that. So if you guys are going to buy one, make sure you buy one with that link. If you don't want to use that link, you can also buy them on Amazon. I think they sell them at Best Buy, GameStop, Walmart. So then to end this off, just going to show you guys my sensitivities. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Um, my dead zone for the left stick is 12, right stick is 10, controller auto run off, build immediately on, edit hold time 0. Uh, build sensitivity is at 2.0, edit 2.7, horizontal 57, vertical 55, all my boosts are at 0, ADS is at 14 and 14, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. linear aiming curve, aim assist 100%, 
legacy controls is off. I've actually gotten a lot of comments from people saying that I actually have them on and I'm lying. Um, it's very obvious though when somebody has legacy or not. And then uh, foot controller off, dead zone, these don't matter when this is off, and that's it. So that's my settings guys, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the FPS Strike Pack Dominator by Collective Minds, and I will see you guys in the next video. Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, don't forget to use code Brock in the item shop. Thank you for your support, it means a lot. Goodbye. What was that? What are you doing there? What? What was that? Why did I die, bro? I jumped from a zip line. When have I ever died from a zip line in my Fortnite career? That's why I was like, I didn't even think about it until after I, I thought I got sniped at first. I was like, no way he just hit a snipe like that midair. And then it said you died of fall damage. Bro, there's no way.